the rest. Yeah, that's my car. Jules, Reagan, Brinson, Mackenzie, Mary, Ethanoi, Richard, Caden, Ariane, Kevin, Alice, Eleanor, Lucas, Underclassman, Fish, off. After it all. Good morning, Ephrata. My name is Eleonora. And I'm Julias. Today is Friday, April 12th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Um. Today, our GSA is once again taking part in Day of Silence, a day dedicated to raising awareness about the silencing effects of bullying and harassment of LGBTQ plus students to participate. Students choose to take a vow of silence and wear name tags that say, Hello, my name is Silence. Do you still want to show your support without staying silent? Then you can wear a pride sticker or a pin or a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Ally. If you're interested in running to be a representative of student council for the 2024-2025 school year, stop down to room 137, Mr. Marzok's room, to pick up a petition ASAP. You need 30 signatures by students in your own grade. We only take the top six from each grade to be members of student council each year. Additionally, you need a teacher recommendation emailed to me, emailed to Mr. Marzok directly. Everything is due by April 16, 2024, no exceptions. If you have any questions, please stop down to Mr. Marzak's room anytime. This announcement is for any student who is interested in learning more about the U.S. Service Academies. You are invited to attend Service Academy Night, which will be hosted by Congressman Lloyd Smucker on Monday, April 29th, 2024, at Penn Manor High School from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Academy Night will include information about the difference between attending an academy and ROTC, the value of attending a summer program at an academy, the ideal candidate for an academy, determining the difference between a nomination and an appointment. You'll also be able to check out options available through the U.S. Service Academies, West Point, Naval, Air Force, Merchant Marine, and Coast Guard and ROTC programs. Each of the service academies offers an incredible free college education worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. For more details, check your Schoology class group. It is important as it is especially important to start this process early. Freshmen and sophomores should attend if they have any interest in one of these post-secondary options. Seniors, if you applied or in the process of applying for the Ephrata National Bank Hipschman Scholarship, please sign up for a time slot for an interview. Students who do not complete all portions of the application and interview process will not be considered for the scholarship. Interviews will be approximately five to six minutes in length and will take place in the district boardroom. Please arrive 10 minutes early for your scheduled interview. Be sure to dress professionally, speak clearly and confidently, and arrive early. Let Ms. Bridget know if you have any questions. Best of luck. Now over to Mary with the news. Go away. <laughs> Crispy bread and melted cheese. How can something that tastes so good be this simple? Welcome to National Grilled Cheese Day on April 12th. So who was the genius behind grilling the combination of cheese and bread to create the grilled cheese sandwich? According to government-issued cookbooks, surprisingly, it was the American Navy who thought of it, or at the very least, were the first to publish the recipe. Hundreds of American cheese-filled sandwiches were prepared by Navy chefs for military personnel during World War II. The term grilled cheese was coined in the 1960s when the second slice of bread was added to the top of grilled cheese. Other popular names were cheese toasty and toasted cheese sandwiches. Now back to the main desk. Attention, newspaper staff! 
Yes, you. Please use the link on Schoology to sign up for Article 4 issues. If you have any questions or want to pitch a different article idea, please check in with your editor or one of the editors-in-chief. We will resume our normal schedule at the next meeting on April 24th, so be sure to be there. Prom is almost here. Ephra High School's prom will be on Saturday, May 11th at the Double Tree in Reading. Tickets will be on sale in the E-Lab room 215, starting the second week of April, so get your table of eight together. Tickets cost $65 and can be paid for with cash or a check made out to EASD. With the student's name in the memo line, tickets will be available for all students after school from 315 to 415 today. Tuesday, April 16th, and Friday, April 19th, as well as on Thursday, April 8th, in the morning from 710 to 740. It is strongly recommended that you have everyone in your table group of eight purchase their tickets at the same time. All EHS students attending the prom must be present at the time of ticket purchase. All obligations, both of money and time, must be paid before purchasing a prom ticket. Additional information about the prom and guest forums can be picked up from Ms. Peachy's classroom, room 200, or in the main office. Please bring your payment in a form of ID, school ID, or license to purchase tickets. See you at prom. Now over to a special segment, lunch and an Alex with sports. Have you ever wanted technology help from your friends? Have you ever wanted to build a computer, but you don't know where to start? Well, do we have a solution for you? And introducing MTS Plus. We are happy to officially announce MTS Plus. MTS Plus is an extension of the current MTS, but we now offer a wide range of new services. If you want general computer tips for your school laptop or personal devices, we're here to help. If you need help with file transfer, file conversion, or file organization, we can help with that too. We now also offer custom vinyl printing and 3D printing so you can make your dreams a reality. If you want help with photo or video editing, we know a guy. It's us. We're the guy. We're also offering new enhanced technology support for new students new to technology or new students just new to our school district. We know it can be difficult at times, so we're just going to do our best to help you guys get up and running as soon as possible. We can't wait for you to see all the new features we have at Mounts Tech Plus. If you would like to sign up for a time slot, make sure to scan the QR codes around the school and sign up for your time slot and your reason. We hope to see you soon. Measles, rabies, polio. I told you it was all coming back. Months ago, I told you this. Years ago, I told you this. I told you measles. I told you rabies. It's coming. It's returning. Would you like to grab a bite to eat? <coughs> Mary Martin. Mary Martin. What happened, Mary Martin? Good morning, Efforta. I'm here reading the lunch today because Kel Kovac did not do his job. Uh, but for lunch today, we have macaroni and cheese with a pretzel rod, uh, Jamaican jerk medallions, uh, dunk and dippers, PB&J Uncrustable, fruit New York parfait with a muffin, Asian crunch salad, uh, stewed tomato sauce, steamed green beans, fresh cauliflower or dip, applesauce, fresh fruit, or a 100% juice slash slushy. Yesterday, boys... Boys lacrosse lost 6-5 to five at Penn Manor, and volleyball lost 0-3 versus Cocalico. And today, baseball is at E-Town. The girls uh, lacrosse is home versus Penn Manor. Softball is home versus E-Town, and tennis is home versus Cocalico. Volleyball is home versus Kennett Square. 
And tomorrow, baseball is home versus Southwestern. Boys uh, lacrosse is home versus Daniel Boone. The girls are away at Daniel Boone. Softball is at Hershey, and track is at Hemfield. Now back to the main desk. It is act period four today. Have a funky Friday, Ephraim.